Well, thanks for sticking with us here on Fox 24 News AM Live. Randy Ham. Good morning, Baby Friday. High five. The man of the hour. High five. And National High Five Day. I love yeah, that. Yeah, me too. Thank you so much for being in our studio this morning. Always. Um, of course, we have to talk about arts happening in Odessa, but there's an arts appreciation event happening at City Council. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so every year we go up to City Council because most of uh, all of the arts organizations in Odessa, they get money through through Odessa Arts, mm -hmm. through hotel occupancy tax. And right. that's money that the city gives to us to give out to arts agencies. So once a year, we always think it's a very good idea to go back to city council and say thank you so much for investing in the cultural community here. Mm -hmm. So on uh, Tuesday, we have a reception from 5.30 to 6.00 in City Hall. Nice. Everyone is invited. We have some refreshments. Uh, you can meet some of the local artists that mm -hmm. have their community art in the gallery. Uh, and then at 6 o'clock, City Council starts, and we all go up one at a time and say, you know what, thank you so much for investing. These are the things that we did with your money this year. Right. Please continue to invest in the arts. Oh, I love that. And so how long has City Council been investing in the arts? Are you familiar? Yeah, like since uh, 1981 okay. uh, is when they started granting hotel occupancy tax to fund the arts. Mm -hmm. And according to the state of Texas, up to 15% of hotel occupancy tax can be invested into the arts. Oh, uh, wow. and so that's a pretty big number, and we always want to make sure that we get the most out of that, and we show the city that we are good stewards of that money. Mm -hmm. uh, so we give money out to the symphony, to the playhouse, to the Alan Noel Art Museum. Right. Uh, we gave out $200,000 in cultural tourism grants this year. That is incredible. And I yeah. remember the Artpocalypse. Yes. That was a large event. It was a huge event. Yeah. Uh, and so. then on top of donations, this, this tax is still so vital to fund your program, though. Right, it mm -hmm. really is, and the best thing about it is because it's hotel occupancy tax, what is happening is that visitors to this city are helping us pay for art for the city. Mm. So I think that's amazing, uh, and that's why we try to promote cultural tourism uh, in Odessa. Right, and when you put a little bit in, you get so much back. It's not even yes. just funding for um, the different outlets like the Wagner Noel and mm -hmm. uh, different theaters out here, but it's also to go toward individuals who are growing in their talents. There's music, there's theater, there's yes. arts and painting, and there's so many different outlets, and it's just always so overwhelming to me to think about all the programs that are really being poured into out here. Absolutely. As you saw this weekend, mm -hmm. we had an 85-year-old man who is writing an opera right now. Right. Uh, and he's a native Odessan, and he's been here for over 60 years. So uh, I think that's amazing that we still have uh, such a creative cultural industry right. right here in the Permian Basin. And we're impacting so many locals out here as well yeah. to go beyond the, the walls of Midland Odessa and to really That's expand right. the horizons. I love that. Yes, bringing the world into the Permian Basin.